All right, so we're in our VS Code editor here. Let me, oops, let's see if I can bring this down. There we go. So what I started out is literally a blank uh, Python file here. So let's get started. Um, so the goal here, we're going to code up Microsoft Max and PyTorch. Oops. And then we're gonna do the same thing in Triton. And I think by seeing both, you'll be able to see some of the fundamental differences uh, and in what's involved in coding Triton as opposed to PyTorch. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first thing is basically some imports. So we're going to import Torch, of course, um, for PyTorch. And we're going to import Triton, which is basically the compiler. And we're going to import Triton.language as TL. Oops, so that's our abbreviation. So that's pretty much the main things that we'll need to start coding. Um, I guess the first thing let's do here is let's just make our sample. And what we want to do is have a tensor that we can use and prove out that things are working. So we'll do um, import tensor. Let's just make a very simple one, two, three, four, five. And let's reverse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, a couple of things. Let's make sure our dtype, one, two, float 32. Two for now, and device. We just need to be on CUDA. So that gives us setup for a basic sample here. So we have a two-dimensional or two-row tensor here specifically, um, and we have, of course, access to Torch. So let's just do our reference out. We're going to do Torch softmax sample. Uh, I can't remember if it's access or dim, dim equals one, because we're going to go row wise. And let's just run that to create softmax, and this will sort of be our baseline that we're going to compare against when we code both eager and uh, in Triton. So, um, ref out equals. Actually, this is not right. We need functional. Let's just abbreviate. Uh, let's just skip that. Do this. Functional as F. I think that's right. Yep, okay. So this is our import. So this will be our reference architecture. So let's just save that and let's just run. Um, This is all working. Okay, that looks good. So, our softmax output here uh, for this little simple sample is basically, uh, as you can see, 0 0.0117, 0 0.317, 0 0.8, 0 0.2341, 0 0.6364. So, basically representing the five. So, um, that looks good to that because it's a baseline that we want to compare against once we start coding here. So, let's go ahead and start coding up our own, um, we'll call it. Uh, naive softmax so I can plug it into the performance benchmark directly. And what are we taking in? So take in a tensor. We output a tensor. Okay, and a quick doc string uh eager mode softmax. So we are going to do softmax. Uh, you may or may not be familiar in softmax. One of the things that we basically always do is what's called safe softmax. So we, the first thing we need to do here is to pull the maximum value, and then we're going to uh, basically uh, descale. I'm not sure the right unscale, uh, reverse scale. Anyway, we're going to take the largest value and subtract that from everything. The whole idea of that is when we add the numerator portion, uh, we don't want to have an overflow or underflow situation. So by shrinking everything down, we can kind of minimize that issue. So first thing we need to do is let's get our x max and we can use actually x dot max um check the there we go um dimension should be one for row wise ah uh, and the other thing when it returns the max value it actually gives you both the indices and the values we just want the values so that's what the reason for that Zero there. Let's just print this out to make sure we're on the right track. And 
I can start off by uh, eager out. And pass in sample. Just make sure we're on the right track here. Okay, looks good. We know that five is, in fact, the maximum of each of these uh, initial sample rows. So five here, five here. Okay, so we're off to a good start there. X max is that. Once we have the max, we need to subtract that. So we'll call that safe rows. Uh, I guess it's like safe X here. And <clears throat> from that, we need to subtract everything uh, X max. So we can do X minus X max and max is a 1d uh, tensor or is it yeah it's a 1d tensor there so we need to flatten that out um, so we're going to add a basically a dummy uh, kind of an unsqueeze effect here to create a column tensor so basically x max by one dimensions that's what this is so we can then pass that through and then we do element wise subtraction and that will be broadcast across all the elements in um, x so that should give us the result there print that out to double check Okay, so we have our new safe X tensor where everything has been, the max has been subtracted in each row. Of course, it's the same. I just said the ordering different, but uh, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, and zero. So that sets us up to ensure no overflow or underflow. Take that out. Um, so once we have the safe X, we need to now create our numerator. And the numerator is going to be torch. We need to exponentiate every single value in here in the safe X. See if uh, that looks good. Okay, and the denominator is going to be numerator dot sum um, dimension equals one. We're doing a row wise, and then finally we're going to get our um, basically soft max value. So soft max out equal to numerator divided by denominator. And we have the same situation that in the denominator is going to be a 1D tensor. So we're going to make it a column wise, broadcast it. So it can be broadcast, I should say. And that should do it uh, right like that. So let's come down here. And let's print our result. And I just made it since this is such a simple thing, we can just visually inspect it. We'll do a torch testing all close shortly here for bigger tensors. And does that look great? First row here, first row here looks good. And same thing in reverse, 6364, etc. That's good. So we have, in fact, a working softmax. Um, so this is replicating uh, the same results that we get when we call PyTorch directly. So we know that we've coded this up properly. Um, and this, of course, is in eager mode. So uh, let's now we have this basis. We have uh, the PyTorch implementation as well, and now we want to actually start on coding up the Triton uh, version of this.